Hi Capricorn, welcome back. It's part two of August 2023, love and relationships reading. This person holding so much inside of themselves, holding themselves inside. I mean, quite literally, I get to hiding themselves away. Nine of cups in reverse, yeah. So um, they don't want it this way, but unfortunately, you can't get what you want if you don't come out and, and go for it. If you don't, uh, if you don't ever try, you know, the, that's the sure way of failure, isn't it? Is not even attempting something, and that's what I sense here. That this person is is not even attempting it. No, no. They do just feel like it's sure to sure to fail anyway. So why bother? Why bother? Wow. Uh, Capricorn, let, let's see. I'm going to start with the clarification with that Celtic owl, uh, the hanged man. Yeah, holding back. There's a moment, a brief moment, a brief window when something could happen here, but is the moment going to pass by due to this person's psyche of this uh, insecurity and not being good enough? <coughs> the culture I feel this person has been brought up in uh, let's see yeah the ten of wands in reverse it's not even trying guys it's it's holding back and not even trying <sighs> oh, look at this yeah no, this person isn't even going to try, guys. I mean, I wish it was another thing. I truly do. I, I really had hoped that this person was going to reach into that um, down deep here and, and summon up some intestinal fortitude uh, to put themselves out there. But it doesn't appear so because right now it feels like they say, well, what's the point? What's the point? And, and the thing is, this is something that they'd hoped for something that they've wanted for a long period of time and then poof, poof the opportunity disappears because they wait too long guys uh, we've got the world in reverse and the uh, queen of pentacles yeah i feel, I feel that um this person had a um, it, it seems to have come from the maternal may have been the mother that was like this that passed on these negative traits uh, this person says focus on the money focus on your finances very financial focused family this or culture and uh, a lot of negative traits here around um, not giving, not trusting, uh, hoarding, even. Gosh, yeah. It seems to have come from the, the mother, this psyche. And it, it can't be unlearned. It, I feel that this, this, the lessons that were taught here were um, something that's like lifelong and this person truly does believe. We've got temperance in reverse along with the knight of cups this this is this feeling of desperation is this person actually going to be able to do this i really hope that they do at least try even though there's nervous this nervous energy mm, getting a lot of tension here around this person but can they come forward i hope so i hope that they can but we've still got this hanged man energy with the hermit in reverse. They're still holding back. Mm, well, not the right time, not the right time. Is it ever going to be the right time? Well, the time is now. They need to act. They need to act now. Stop holding back. Stop waiting for the right time. Yeah, six of pentacles, five of pentacles, both in the reverse. Here is the challenge. Again, I get that this person has been very taught not to um, 
Yeah, it's, it's a hoarding kind of energy. I even get that this person may actually be a hoarder for some of you. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't been to this person's home, then if you went in, they had, like, everything that, that they've ever had in their entire life that's never been thrown away, you know. I'm not talking about trash here. I'm talking about things, you know, things that they had since they were a child. Um, the place is probably filled with stuff. And I think this was this was brought or conditioned or taught by this this mother figure. Oh gosh, yeah, hoard! Don't give away, hoard! Don't give away, hoard! Don't give away. Well, that's the thing. If you if you're in that hoarding mentality and that consciousness of lack, that poverty mindset, you never give anything away, including your heart. Mm. the hope here yeah there's a nine of swords in reverse and the queen of pentacles in reverse I feel that this person was wants desperately to be different to not hold so much inside to unlearn the behaviors to be different to be braver to be stronger uh, to have the courage to reach for the stars to go for what they want they want that, but there's so much fear. And this person imagines the worst. You know, this person has had in the past lots of uh, fantasies, lots of um, thoughts of wanting to be with uh, certain individuals, but I feel that there's been a, this person's love life has been filled with a lot of unrequited love. Some of it, yes, they were rejected when they were younger but the majority of it I feel is just this energy of uh, not even going for it not trying for it you know watching from a distance saying I'd really want to be with that that type of person or I'd really love to have a uh, a girlfriend boyfriend that was like that but not doing anything about it you know holding back watching being distant stalking even I get a stalking energy here the goal two of swords in reverse ace of wands yeah this person look they want this they do desperately so even though they don't want to appear desperate they they are i mean they are now time is time is running out for this person if they want this they're gonna have to act now time is running out what's being avoided we've got high priestess in reverse and the star Yes, this, this is someone, I feel that there's an infatuation, they're infatuated by you, Capricorn. Uh, they see you as someone who is um, around them, but uh, unattainable. Um, they may even think that you don't want them, that, uh, that if they approached you, that you would not be receptive. It's a secret admirer. Page of Swords in reverse, Hermit in reverse, and someone that um, that's around you but hiding. I mean, quite literally. I mean, you, this person, when they talk to you, they, they're probably extremely nervous, or some some of them don't even want to talk to you, you know, um, because they're too fearful to talk to you. And other people, we've got the Two of Cups in reverse, King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel that this is a friend or someone around them. Someone who is um, also has a pretty bad... <laughs> it's a single person, somebody who is not married, someone who doesn't have a relationship. It's kind of an angry individual, angry at love. And so this, they're advising this person not to, not to go for this. It's some kind of angry person. I, I get it as a masculine energy. An angry masculine friend or colleague, someone saying, no, no, just stay single. You know, it's, it's easier. This this person just doesn't want to be the only one that, that doesn't have a... Uh, <laughs> that doesn't have a girlfriend or boyfriend, I feel. Yeah, actually be taken three of swords and the ten of swords in reverse. Well... 
they need to take action otherwise this this opportunity is going to go away mm -hmm. there's a, there's a, a moment here where this can be saved they they can make this happen if they want it but they have to come forward and, and express how they feel ask you out what's in here is the uh, the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, for some of you, this is you, Capricorn, especially if you're the feminine. And um, some of you at, at the moment are, are just fresh out of a divorce or a, um, a breakup with someone that you thought was going to be a partner for a long period of time. So you're still healing, still reeling from that. I feel that this, this person as well has experienced a long-term relationship that has broken down. They are possibly divorced as well. Um, they may have been taught some negative traits by this ex-spouse as well. That could, this, this doesn't have to be a mother, it could be an ex, an ex-partner, someone who passed on their negative traits to, to this person, Capricorn. And here's this King of Swords in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse. This this other person here. I feel it's it's a med, it's somebody meddling here. Strong influence on this person saying, no, don't do that. No, no. God, I hope that they don't listen to this person. It's some kind of teacher here. Someone who is um, putting in their two cents saying oh look i know i know what type of person that that capricorn is so yeah no no i wouldn't even bother but it's a manipulation <coughs> it's manipulation and it's destructive it's causing the destruction of this uh, of the potential for something good to happen between the two of you you know this hasn't even progressed to the dating stage it hasn't progressed to the talking stage. <laughs> it's 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 not talking. It's stalking. It's not talking. It's stalking. Wow. If it's not talking, it's stalking. Well, I don't know what else to say about that, but that, that's the truth. Now, um, let's pull some more cards here, guys. I'm going to get one from. Let's get one from this deck. What does Capricorn need to know about this person? What does Capricorn need to know about this person, Spirit? What does Capricorn need to know? They have a lot of passion. They have passionate feelings. Oh, yeah. That Ace of Wands. They want to come forward, express how passionately they feel. This person feels a lot for you, Capricorn, but they're holding it all inside. <coughs> holding it all inside, guys. And this person could even be, uh, it could even be a soulmate if they gave it an opportunity, guys. It's this third party that's getting in the way, this, this person. Mm. I think that they need to really rise up, forget about listening to this, this King of Swords person and just come forward and express how they feel and just let it happen without all of this internal conflict which see it's, it's showing up in the reading as neuroticism but honestly it's making this person sick. It's, and it has something to do with their throat chakra, you know, that this person's throat chakra, they may even be, um, they may even be coming out in terms of uh, throat issues. This person could be experiencing some kind of illness or injury around the throat because 
they're not coming out with what they need to come out and say, look, I think that you're Capricorn, I think that you're a soulmate. I feel so passionately about you. Hey, let's, let's see if we can make this happen. They can't say it. They want desperately to say it, but they can't say it, Capricorn. I hope it's not going to be too late and I hope that this person does come forward with with what they need to say they're nervous about it but boy i hope that they say it i hope that they do capricorn i'm going to wish you all the very best with this if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com thank you so much for watching please do take care and bye for now